Now this is getting real weird. Now we're putting mascara into the lip gloss and making it black. Obviously, I will be trying it out. So all we're supposed to do is stick the mascara wand into the gloss. Oh, that is turning black so fast. All right, well, let's um, try this. Oh my... <gasps> Why is mine so pigmented? This is looking a little scary. I can't tell if I like it or hate it, but I don't think it's supposed to look like this. Do you guys all remember this viral lip from Tarte Cosmetics? This black looking one? Apparently they now have this color in every single lip product. You already know I have to try it because apparently it's supposed to look uh, beautiful on every single person. It's a shade Honeysuckle and first we're gonna use the lip pencil. Are you kidding me? This already looks so pretty. Now we have a choice between a lipstick, a juicy lip, or a lip cream. I think I'm gonna do the regular lipstick one. <gasps> oh my god. This is definitely not the typical color I would ever wear, but holy shit, it looks so freaking pretty. Do it again, but open the bags randomly and then do it in that order. I got us another advent calendar to play around with, so let's get into it. And this one is from Ulta Beauty. I realized that none of these products are ever going to have like foundation or concealer, so I already have that on just so we could give these products a fair shot. Right, let's see which one we're going to open first. This one right here. Oh, that was number one. Let's see what we have in here. We have a lipstick and it's actually a pretty cute color. Lipstick first it is. That is a pretty color. Let's pick out the next one. This one. Number seven. We have an overnight lip mask. I'm just gonna apply it on top of the lipstick. Next, we have. Oh! Number three, and we have a brow gel. Doesn't have any color to it, but we'll just brush it through my brows, anyways. It seems like these products have a theme. Next, we have number four. Ooh, eyeshadow. It's a cream eyeshadow, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it all over my lid. This feels a little bit like Vaseline. Not a fan. Next one, we have this one, number 10. We have a highlighter, and look at how cute it is. Oh, it is uh, so pretty. I am also placing it all over my lid to cover that atrocious eyeshadow. Let's do one more. We have this one, it's number 5, and we have uh, a lip oil. We're just gonna layer it right on top. We're halfway done, so I'll see in part two of the rest. Welcome to part two of me opening this Ulta advent calendar in random order and doing my makeup in the order that I opened them in. So sorry you had to listen to that. You'll see what I mean though. Next we have number six or number nine. Ooh. We have a mattifying face primer. But I have foundation on. You know what? I'm committed, so I'm going to put it on top. Yeah, it's definitely messing with my foundation. Moving on, I'm gonna do this one. Number 12. And we have, ooh, a beauty blender. Next, we'll do this one, which is number six or number nine. We have an eyeshadow duo in here. We have three left. Let's do this one. Oh. Breaking this thing left and right, but day 11's next. We have an eyeliner. I'm gonna create like a blown out liner with it. I only have two left and I'm hoping for mascara. Let's do this one. Oh, number two. Oh, another eye. That blue's kind of cute though. And lastly, we have number eight and uh, it better be mascara. Oh, it's not. It's another lip product. Well, let's layer this lip gloss right on top. I would love for a mascara, but my lips do look good though. And here's all the products that we got in there. Can you do your makeup the wrong way according to Google? I didn't even know what that meant until I Googled it. And there are a lot of very opinionated articles. And today we're gonna break every single rule. Okay, first I found this article that's titled Makeup Artist Cringe Every Time They See These Common Mistakes. That's kind of fucking rude. Starting off strong, number one, no skin prep. Next step, we're gonna knock off three different rules. 
We're gonna do our foundation before eye makeup. We're not gonna wet the beauty blender while applying the foundation. And we're gonna use light foundation and concealer on dark spots. I already feel attacked because I do my foundation before my eyeshadow every single time I do makeup. And honestly, using a dry beauty blender is not that bad. Now using too light of a shade of concealer and applying too much concealer. Now we're gonna do the good old triangle. And as you can see, this concealer is very light for me. Now let's blend it out with our dry beauty blender. I honestly don't see anything wrong with this. Now for contour, we're gonna use way too many products. First, we're gonna start off with this one from She Glam. We're also gonna use a Charlotte Tilbury contour wand on top. And we're gonna layer all that with a shimmery bronzer. I feel a little bit attacked, not gonna lie, because I love me a shimmery bronzer. You know what, because I don't care about these rules, we're gonna apply two shimmery bronzers on top. We're only getting started, I'll see you in part two for the rest. Part two of me doing my makeup the wrong way according to Google. Next rule we have is applying too much blush too low on your face. I don't agree with too much blush, but I do agree with the low on your face part. Today we're applying blush low on my face. I think this is pretty low because usually I put my blush like right here, so... Okay, I don't know why. I thought this was gonna look way worse. Also gonna add a little bit of this Tarte blush on top. I think this will be considered too much according to the article. Brows, we have drawing lines on the entire brow. I'm not a thousand percent sure what it means, but we're just gonna draw like a whole line on the bottom and on top. It's a little bit bulky, but I was expecting worse. I have seen my eyebrows look better. I should have saw one mistake that people do is to not prime, so we're not gonna prime. My eyelids don't even have foundation on, so this is like super weird. The eyeshadow is not as vibrant, but you wouldn't really know it unless you've seen it the other way. Moving on to lips, and we have overdrawn lip liner. This is a classic. I went a little bit overboard, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I got too excited here. And we also have a rule that says not matching your lip liner and lipstick. Well, these two for sure don't match. I don't even know how to take myself with these lips right now. But you know what? We just broke about 15 makeup rules, and if I showed this look to my boyfriend, he would not see any differences. And if you get a no, you use the cheapest product that you have. I am so ready for this one. All right, can I use my most expensive primer? Yes. I'm gonna go in with the Gucci primer that's $60. Moving on to foundation, can I use my most expensive foundation? No way. I have this Essence foundation that's $3.49. Honestly, not too bad. All right, now, Mr. Filter, can I please use my most expensive concealer? No. For concealer, we're also gonna use this one from Essence, that's $1.99. And I actually love this concealer, so I'm not too mad about this choice. All right, now, can I use a really good contour? Yes. So we're gonna go in a bougie, this one from Chanel, and it's $60. All right, you guys know I love my blush, so can I use an expensive blush? Absolutely. And for that, we're going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Glowgasm Blush, and it's $40. I did not know this stuff was that expensive. Now, the one thing I really need, Mr. Filter, is a really good powder. Can I please use an expensive powder? Yes! We're going to use Givenchy uh, Prisme Libre, and it's $64. Super two for the rest. Part two of doing my makeup, where the ass filter decides the price of my makeup. Um, it'll make sense. We're moving on to brows, so can I please use a good brow pencil? Sure. I'm going to use this one from Benefit Cosmetics, and it's $25. I want to add a little bit more bronzer, so can I please use a good bronzer? No. I actually have a really, really good cheap bronzer. This stuff is only $4.99, and it's from Essence. Now for my blush, can I please use this bougie Gucci one? No. This blush right here from Wet n Wild, I don't even think they make them anymore, but it's about $3.49. Wow, I haven't used this in a while, and it's so pretty. Okay, now can I use an expensive highlighter, please? Maybe. Uh, pretty please? Sure. The most expensive highlighter that I own is actually in this palette, and it's from Natasha Denona, and it's $48. All right, now I would like to use a good eyeshadow palette to create my eye look. Can I please do that? C. Thank you very much. The eyeshadow palette, we're going to go in with this one from Pat McGrath Labs, and it's $128. All right, now let's pick up mascara. Can I use the most expensive one? Maybe. Uh, please? Maybe. Hello? No. All right, we're going to go in with this one from Essence, and it's $4.99. Now, lip liner matters. Can I please use an expensive lip liner? Yes. Can I use an expensive lipstick? Indeed. Yes. 
We're gonna use this lip liner from MAC Cosmetics, it's $21, and this Gucci lipstick's for $45. I think the ASK filter nailed it. Using the advent calendar to do a full face of makeup. Now I have this advent calendar from Makeup Revolution and it is literally the coolest thing I've ever seen. Now before we get into the makeup part, I think we need to open every single one of these. Day number one, we have a lipstick. Number two, contour. Three, we have a mirror, how handy. Number four is a long one. But we have a makeup brush, number five, a brow pencil, six, ooh, a lip oil. Number seven, we have another makeup brush, speed round. All right, so we have eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. These chrome shadows from 11 or 12 are stunning. 13, ooh, a jelly gloss. 14 is a big one. Face balance. Super cute one too. For 15, we have a highlighter. 16 is a brow crayon. 17, primer. 18, lip liner. 19 and 20 are lip glosses. 21 is a beauty blender. 22 is a lip liner. 23 is a lip scrub. 24 is an eye pencil. And 25 is the biggest one. And we have this beautiful eyeshadow palette. I'm obsessed. Now let's see if we could create a full face using only these makeup products.
with me doing my makeup where a random number generator decides the order that I do the makeup in. We just did the brows and now we have 12 and that's mascara. Once again, I'm still waiting on foundation. 13. That's lip liner. This looks kind of weird, but next we have uh, 9. That's highlighter. We literally crossed off the whole bottom part of this list. I'm gonna apply some liquid highlighter in hopes it's gonna show up under foundation. At this point, maybe I don't even need foundation anymore. Number eight. We're like literally going in backwards order here. And it's powder blush and where it's about to get interesting. I feel like I should be applying a lot of it. Moving on, we have uh, seven. Is this serious right now? It's now powder bronzer and I'm gonna go pretty light-handed, honestly. If I get six next, I'm done. How is this possible? Six is setting powder and it feels like sabotage. I mean, we only have two numbers left. And it's five. Five is cream blush, which means the last step is foundation number two. Let's apply a little bit of cream blush. I'm gonna finish it off with this Patrick Ta foundation. Okay, honestly, somehow it's bringing this look kind of all together. I almost feel like doing foundation last uh, was the best thing that happened to this makeup look. Day 12 of asking you to do makeup using Claire's makeup products. I'm ready. I also got these cute earrings to match the theme. Okay, these earrings look kind of hideous. To start off, I got this magic lip balm. I don't know what's going to be so magic about it, uh, but it better be magic for 15 freaking dollars. Every single thing was like ridiculously expensive to the point where I felt like I was like at Sephora. This feels just like glue. Looks kind of cute though. Next thing I got is this eyeshadow palette and like a face palette. This was $30. Claire's, are you fucking kidding me? I do want to give this makeup a fair try, so I already have foundation on because they had none. And I'm going to use uh, this shimmery thing as my bronzer. It honestly could be a highlighter, but I don't see a bronzer in there either way. It honestly is not looking as bad as I thought. After the blush, we have this one right here, and it looks like a pretty co coral color. Quite pigmented too. It is so bright. Then we're going to use uh, this little thing as a highlighter. Uh, okay, Claire's. It looks a little bit like chalk, but it could be worse. I will see you part two for this. Let's finish off this full face of Claire's makeup. This is the palette that we're working with. I will be using these hideous brushes. You know what? I feel brave and I think we should do green. I mean, it's showing up. I mean, there's definitely color on my eyelids, but I honestly have nothing else good to say about this. I feel like the more I do, the worse it's getting. Also have these Vaseline glitters, so let's put those on my lid. Oh my god. That literally just took all my eyeshadow off. I'm just gonna cover it up, hopefully. This should have been $2 and not 30 We also have a mini mascara in here, and uh, thank god for that. That quite possibly might be the worst mascara I've ever used. But come on, look at this cute lip gloss I got. Are you kidding me? It's a fucking keychain, and I paid $15 for that. Alright, I finally got this open. Uh, let's see what it looks like on my lips. It's honestly just a clear lip gloss. I do want to try this tiny one as well. Okay, if you look really closely, uh, there's definitely some glitter particles in there. All I have to say is that if you're not producing high-end makeup, don't price it like one. Especially for kids.